Welcome to Machine Learning class and in this class we will see the applications of my base classifier from Bayesian concept learning. And today we will learn the different applications like the text classification, spam filtering, hybrid recommender system, online sentiment analysis, credit scoring, medical data classification and real time predictions. So these are some of the applications of my base classifier. Let us see all those things one by one. The most popular application for my base classifier is text classification. It classifies the document where the probability of classifying text is more. That is, if the document size is very high, then the my base classifier is the best of option. And this algorithm used to check the permutation and combination of probability of classifying the document under particular title. Okay, so uh, based on the title given uh, to classify the algorithm. It uses the permutation and combination of the probability to classify. And some of the applications of text classification is document categorization, language deduction, and sentiment deduction. Okay, these are very popular other applications of text classifications. And these applications are very much useful for traditional retailers, e-retailers, and other business people for judging the sentiment of their clients, the sentiments of their clients based on the keywords in feedback form, social media comments and etc. For example, good, high, uh, medium, normal, likewise, the based on the comment in the social media or the keywords which are used in the comment, they will classify and they will understand the sentiment of their clients. The next popular application of my base classifier is spam filtering. Nowadays almost all email provider have uh, this functionality as a built in functionality and it identifies the spam mail on the basis of certain conditions and also the probability of classifying an email as a spam. Initially the mail comes to the email filter the, based on some conditions or probability the email filter will identify whether the incoming mail is spam mail or the normal mail. If it is spam mail that that will goes to spam box otherwise it will goes to the inbox. Right? The user can also install a separate email filtering program in their uh, email services. Okay? And the server side email filter is also sometimes embedded within the email server software itself. The another popular application of Nibase classifier along with the collaborative filtering is hybrid recommender system. Okay, this recommender system is used to by the retailers like eBay, Alibaba, Target, Flipkart, Amazon, uh, even in the YouTube. They apply the machine learning and data mining technique for filtering the unseen information which is used to predict whether the user will like this information or not. Okay, so once you log into Flipkart or even the YouTube, you can see some of the product in your login. Okay, where which machine you are using, if you log in to that particular service, you will see the same product. Okay, so on the basis of the text for searching a product, so which of the text you are using to search a particular product are based on the historical data of the purchase history, the system will automatically recommend some of the product for this particular login person. Okay, here the collaborative filtering and experimental results of this NIBASE classifier shows this algorithm provides better performance regarding the accuracy and coverage of the product when compared to other algorithms. Okay, so the NIBASE classifier will provide the best result for the recommender system. The next important application is online sentiment analysis. Let us assume three sentiments like nice, nasty or neutral and these are labeled as plus one, minus one and zero. For example, if it is positive that is nice then plus one will be assigned. If it is neutral zero, if it is negative minus one will be assigned. So based on these values the NIBASE classifier will classify uh, the data whether it is positive, how much positive, how much neutral and how much negative. Okay. Uh, 
uh, and uh, the simple emotional modeling combines the statistical based classifier with a dynamic based model and this naibes classifier employs the single words word pair like futures which determines the sentiments of the user uh, for example if we click like button then it may be plus 1 dislike means this may be minus 1 or uh, Uh, neutral they didn't uh, click anything means that may be neutral or based on the text in the comment they can an analyze whether it is nice or nasty or neutral right the another application of naibes classifier is uh, credit scoring it is a statistical analysis performed by the lenders and the financial institutions to determine the credit worthiness of a person or an organization okay for giving a loan for a particular person first they will check their credit worthiness okay it is a prediction of persons or organizations credit behavior such as how likely they are to pay a loan back on a time so based on the information from your credit reports the next one is medical data classification it is also called as medical coding or a medical classification this technique is used to classify the patient details of hospital and the health details of a person in insurance companies and etc and nowadays this medical data classification changes the style of hospital patient management the next one is real time predictions it is the process of extracting useful information from the data set in the real time okay it is to determine and predict the future outcome of a particular product or particular thing okay so this is real time prediction so far we have seen some of the applications of naibes classifier like text classification spam filtering hybrid recommender system online sentiment analysis credit scoring medical data classification and real time predictions in the next class we will see another important topic from third unit thank you